Hey guys, welcome to the Dash Fight Tekken 7 tutorial for Brian Fury. My name is Bilal. I'm Tekken 7 pro player from Pakistan playing for Nursery Esports. I'm one time qualifier of TWT and one time LCQ champion as well. I do play Brian and my main player is Brian as well. And uh, 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 in this video, I'm gonna share uh, my knowledge about Brian. Before I go for this, don't forget to subscribe Dash Fight on YouTube and follow them on Twitter as well. So guys, uh, in this set, I'm gonna show you basic moves of Brian. I will start with 1-2-1, one, 1-2-3 two, one, one, two, and 1-2-4. One, so these are the most basic moves of Brian like other characters. So, but Brian has some uh, unique stuff in this 1-2-1 one, one, and 1-2-3 one, and 1-2-4. Like one two four gives you a wall spat. One two one is confirm on if the first uh, punch is hitting on counter hit. If the uh, last punch is hitting on counter hit, you, you're getting a combo. And if the last one two three is hitting on counter hit, you can get a follow up as well. Like like first of the back four is confirmed. And the other basic moves of Brian are four three, down four two one. Down back three, down for one, 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 two. These are called machine punches. You can use three plus four, four circle back three, four circle back four for the combo, four circle back two, four from a big range. Because this move have a really big range and you can even get a follow up of four circle back four as well. So these are the basic moves that you can use by playing Brian. And uh, forward three is also a very good move that you can use. Gives you a combo on counter hit, and uh, three plus four does the same thing as well. Even back one gives you a combo. Okay, so let's start with uh, the most basic moves of this game. And uh, for Brian, it's one to one, one to three, and one to four. So guys, one to one gives plus six frames. One to three gives plus two and one to four gets you knocked down and if you if the ball is nearby it will give you a wall spat as well and uh, there is another thing on counter hit you can get a combo if the third move hits on counter hit you will get a combo if the third hit of one two three will hit, hit on counter hit you will get a follow up of course like a back four like this this one and uh, if the one to four hits on counter hit you will get a wall flat brian have other good tools as well like three plus four is his main move that have a good range and it gives you combo on counter hit like that this is his table combo that you can use after three plus four and uh, brian have soccer kick which gives a follow-up of course like a back four but in season four in the new patch, they added down 3 plus 4 to as a confirmed hit after soccer kick. After that, you can use down forward 2, down forward 2, down forward 2, and sometimes you can just slow down and do down forward 2, 3, and the second move will give you a counter hit, and the same combo like 3 plus 4. Down 2, 3 is a counter hit move as well. Sometimes you can use it, but it's not really, really good. It depends that what kind of opponent you are playing against. If your opponent is offensive, you can do down two, down two, and sometimes just do down two, three. It will give you a combo. Brian have another move. Sometimes in the game plan, what you do is that you just go for back one, down jab, and while saying three. While saying three gives you a combo as well. Same combo. This is the easiest combo. I will add notations as well so it will be easy for you to do this combo as i told you soccer kick is minus 13 so i'm gonna show you an example after blocking soccer kick it's minus 13 if on block and very easy to punish because it will be closer if it gets blocked like you can see that he's doing it from very far range but you can still easily punish it. So this is kind of his weakness as well. 
Same like that, Kazora is one of those characters who can launch on Soccer Kick with his voice saying 1 2. So, guys, I was telling you the good stuff about Soccer Kick. Now, I'm gonna tell you the weakness of Soccer Kick against several characters. There are some characters who can launch Soccer Kick because it is minus 13. So, Josie is one of those characters and she can launch Soccer Kick if she blocks it. She can do twice and two, three. 2, 1 and the follow up. Now we are gonna discuss homing moves of Brian. Brian have 2 or 3 homing moves but there are other moves as well who can stop you by doing sidestep. Like down for 1 is one of them. If you will be close enough and he does down for 1, he will stop you by doing sidestep to right side. And he have another homing move which is 1 plus 2. This is a complete cutter. You cannot do sidestep on this move. And another move is that forward forward four. Forward forward four gives you a combo on counter hit. But it's a high move. Like if your opponent ducks, he can launch you easily. Like this. Guys, Brian have a decent combos, easiest combos, and good damage. Like back one gives an easy combo like this. Another easy combo. It's easy. There is another move. 3 plus 4. You can simply go for 4, four 3, back 3, into dash, power 2, 1. Snake catch. These are easiest combos. Jet upper. Easy combo. You can even go for this combo as well. These are the easiest combos that you can go for after some moves. And same combos after Y saying 3. Same combo after down 2-3 on counter hit. So guys, basically, Ryan is a unique character who can be played defensive and offensive both. There are some characters who can only be played defensive or offensive, like Nina. She can be played offensive mostly uh, on on the world level. She she people plays with her as a defensive character, but the, Brian is uh, different. I have seen a lot of offensive players in all over the world, and um, I have seen more defensive as well. So offensive players, uh, I don't think so. They are really good. I mean, they are not getting high results just because uh, they are playing offensive. But defensive players, uh, they, they can really do a lot of things. But it depends on your mind as well. That how you are actually reading your opponent as well. Reading your mi uh, opponent mind and playing defensive, you will, you will do a lot better. Brian have a unique game plan. Like most of his moves are counter hit moves like back one, Y turning three. Down to 3, second hit gives you counter hit combo. 3 plus 4 gives you counter hit combo. Down forward 2, 3 gives you counter hit combos. So most of his moves are counter hit and crouch 4 as well. So if you know how to land these moves on perfect time, it can give you a lot better return. So as I told you guys that Brian is a unique character and different than other characters. So I would like to share something that... Like other characters have a basic move like down for one. But Brian's down for one is different. It's 15 frame starting frame and uh, other characters have 13 frame starting frame. But Brian have uh, another move which is 13 frame down forward two. So this makes him different than other character. Down forward two is 13 frame and down for one is 15 frame. Down for one have a string like down for one, one, two. It's called uh, machine punches. And honestly, this is one of my favorite moves. And people are really annoyed by this move if you will use it perfectly. Like you can slow it down. You can s just stop like doing this. Then do it again. But it depends on the frames as well. If you will go deep, you will get to know. But really, this move is really good. Now we are going to discuss game plan, strategy, the what strategy you are going to use while playing with Brian. 
it depends on several characters of your opponents that what character he is playing but on the basic characters like Paul like uh, Kazumi like uh, Nina like Anna like Geese you can go with these things like the main move that you should use is that back one back one gives you plus four frames and what I will do after back one is that I'll go for down back three I'll go for down forward two I'll go for one two I'll go for one and then take another plus frame I'll go for back one and soccer kick if my opponent is still is doing nothing then I will take advantage and I will do soccer kick okay and the second good move of Brian in the game plan comes is that soccer kick soccer kick gives you plus five moves it's a 19 frame starting move it's slow but really good benefit because it gives you five plus frames and a good damage both so after doing this your opponent cannot do even a punch if you are doing down for one 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 two some people will do down back three sometimes i do down uh, down back three sometimes i do again soccer kick to take plus frame because my opponent he knows that it is five plus frame he will do nothing because he he cannot even do a jab after getting hit by soccer kick but if it gets blocked it's minus 13. So guys we are ending the video now and uh, before i end i would like to say thanks to all the viewers and don't forget to like the video and comment your thoughts on the video and also don't forget to share with your friends as well uh, also guys uh, don't forget to watch other videos of dash fight on, on other characters but uh, other pro players as well and thanks to all the viewers and all the fans around there thank you so much see you in the next video guys take care